All right, let's take a look at S3 storage classes. Um, and so for the certified cloud practitioner, we need to know generally what these are. For associate levels, we need more detail than we have here, but let's get through it. So AWS offers a range of S3 storage classes that trade retrieval time, accessibility, durability for cheaper storage. And so the farther down we go here, the more cost effective uh, it should get uh, pending uh, you know certain conditions, okay? So when you put something to S3, it's gonna go into the standard uh, tier, the default tier here. And this is uh, incredibly fast. It has 99.99% availability, 11 nines durability, and it's replicated across three AZs. And so, uh, you know, we have this cheaper meter he here on the left-hand side, so, and that would apply this is very expensive and it's not actually expensive, but it is expensive at scale when you can uh, better optimize it with these other tiers. So just understand that. Um, then you have the S3 intelligent tiering. So this uses ML to analyze objects and usage and determine the appropriate storage class. Data is moved to the most cost-effective access tier without any performance impact or added overhead. Then you have S3 standard IA, which stands for infrequent access. This is just as fast as S3 standard, but it's cheaper if you access the files less than once a month. There's gonna be an additional retrieval fee applied. So if you do try to retrieve data as frequently as S3 standard, it's gonna actually end up costing you more. So you don't wanna do that, okay? Then you have S3 one zone uh, IA. So as it says, it's running in a single zone. So it's as fast as S3 standard, but it's gonna have lowered availability, but you're gonna save money, okay? There is one caveat though, your data could get destroyed because it's remaining in a single uh, AZ. So if that uh, AZ or data centers um, suffer a c catastrophe, you're not gonna have uh, a duplicate of your data to retrieve it, okay? Um, and then you have S3 Glacier. So for long-term cloud storage, retrieval of data can take minutes to hours, but it's very, very, very cheap. And then you have S3 Glacier uh, Deep Archive, which is the lowest cost storage class, but the data retrieval is 12 hours. And so, you know, um, all of these here to here, these are all gonna be in the same uh, AWS S3 console or Amazon S3 console. S3 Glacier is basically like its own service, but it's part of S3. so kind of lives in this weird state. There's one here that we didn't have on the list here, which is S3 outputs because it has its own storage class and doesn't exactly fit well into um, this kind of linear cheaper uh, thing here, okay? Uh, 